testing, testing. <laughs> I just felt like doing that. So I haven't gone on here in forever. I do have so much to edit, maybe like two, three vlogs. So I'm going to do it today because I have been holding it off since forever. Uh, long story short, nothing new really has happened. Um, I'm going to have visitors soon, so I'm really excited for that. And I just got back, I got some coffee. Duncan is doing off like their little members app thing, $2 off any like, so what I was gonna say, coffees. And the hazelnut heartthrob is on it, so I was super excited. I got this big thing for two something. I love hazelnut. Just reheating some leftovers from yesterday for Savannah. I don't know if I'll eat from them, but just in case. At the park really quick, but it's getting a little bit later and I want her to take her nap. There she is playing with those balloons that I got way before <laughs> Valentine's Day and are still like ow, are still lasting. Yeah, so we just got back. I did do a Target pickup order and then there's a Marshalls nearby and I was just like, let me go in. I haven't been to that one in a while. The last time I, it was definitely after like a holiday and there was like nothing, absolutely nothing. I did pick up some stuff. I also went to the thrift on base and I picked up some other things. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff. I got so many things, but good things I wanna say. I have to figure out what to fill up my egg with, my little glass egg. I love these things from Target Bulls I Playground when they come out with like themed seasonal items. They just get me guys. So let me know what I should add in these because I think it's so cute. Savannah got sick two days ago. She had a fever. It started at night and then it was all night. Jose stayed up. Thank God, um, yesterday, by the time she went for her dinner, she had a slight fever, nothing crazy, but we've been controlling it. And today, I honestly have not checked her temp today just because all morning she was fine. Um, I'll probably do it right before I put her down for her nap, but thank God, last night she was good. Like, we did the checking, like, at night, and, um, yeah, she was fine. So, it was scary, but I think since we were really on top of it with... Um, medicine, she was good. Refried beans and whatnot. So yesterday I also um, cleared out the guest room. My sister's coming in town with her husband and my nephew, so I just wanna make sure that I'm doing things every day, not leaving it to last minute, because that's a habit of mine. So I'm gonna plan out what I have to do tomorrow and then leading up to that day. We have three wholesome tacos here. Some steak for you. Let's cut this up in itty bitty pieces. Even though it's already kind of cut up, I cut it up even more. And she really likes these tacos. Yeah, I'm excited to have visitors. Um, we haven't had visitors in a while. So it's just really exciting, especially because my sister's husband hasn't been to um, DC. So it's cool. It's exciting. I'm excited to have my nephew here so he can play with Savannah and Savannah can play with him. I'm definitely soaking up that um, they're able to like just drive here, which is a blessing. Um, so yeah. If you guys are following me on TikTok, I have been doing like the little um, what my toddler eats in a day pose. Seemed to be a really big hit for parents, which I'm glad because I love to be able to show you guys stuff. Yes, come on, let's go eat. So yeah, I love to look at them too, what parents make for their kids because I honestly run out of ideas. Okay, sit in your seat. Are you? Hello. Hey. You okay? <laughs> All right. So here is the dish, um, and we're gonna do a movie. So don't come for me, because I'm that mom. She does breakfast with no like um iPad. She did it yesterday because she was sick. But um, we usually try to take that away from her. just because I want her to be able to um, not get used to it, I should say. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. I know there's parents out there that are just like, absolutely not. 
no electronics. And I'm just like, do what works for you. At the end of the day, that's your kid, not my kid. So it did good today with me. So this is like her little reward or prize, I should say. So yeah, let's see what we can watch. Chicken. You love chicken. She loves this chicken so run. Chicken the nugget. I don't know why. But all right, we're gonna sit down and I'm gonna feed her and I'll get back to you guys. We're back. The baby's down for her now. So I'm gonna put some lippy balm let's start with the things i purchased recently because y'all know i'm constantly shopping terrible habit i don't recommend it. i'm going to show you guys the cutest that this is so i did pick up the aldi shopping cart for savannah and when i went in i wanted to look at their candles so these are soy candles which are supposed to be better so i was like why not i think i think this was like three something this smells like iced lemon bread and y'all this smells delicious this smells so freaking good these that are so cute is you can actually use the pan afterwards so i thought that was super neat um i love the color they had like a strawberry strudel i think they had um they had like a coffee walnut i think but this is the one that like resonated more with me mm. i lit it this weekend and it just smelled divine next should not be eating this i feel like i've gained 100 pounds i need to get my ass back on my peloton but nurse ropes these are our current addiction jose's and i and I went to Amazon Fresh to pick up something for dinner like the other day with him. And I saw these and I didn't think of like their Valentine's Day after Valentine's Day might be in clearance. And they actually were. They were like 80 something cents. So I snatched up several of them. Okay, you just like eating as we go. Let's continue. Target. They wanted me to pick up more pajamas for Savannah. Literally her 3T like are not fitting her. And it's crazy because she's two. So I picked up some 4T ones. And I saw that Carter's took out these like really cute ones. Like, look how cute that is. So adorable. And they were on sale for eight bucks. So I picked them up. I just can't believe like she's gonna fit in 4T because the three t-shirts are like a little bit over her belly. <laughs> it's just so cute. I loved this pattern. And I want you to guys see the detailing in this. Like, look at that. That is so cute. It's just so nice i picked up this one because she loves animals i know she's gonna love the um elephants on this so it's literally the same like cotton ribbed which i thought was really neat so i picked up that one i picked up all the styles on this i only had three and then this other one that was super cute with the dragonflies and this one has the neck border like that like the girly neck border Look how cute that is. Not only in a Target, because I always get shit I don't need a Target. Next. Before we get into the Marshalls, I did stop at the thrift on our base. And I was so excited because I love the book section. I love thrifting books for her. If you're not following me on TikTok, I've been showing lately the books I thrift. Well, if you purchase those books in stores where there's like no discounts and stuff, the I would have spent almost like 50 bucks, 40-ish something dollars. I spent three. 340 something i was so excited i was like yes i'm never buying full price book unless it's like a must but i'm paying a dollar and that's it for books from now on <laughs> she's been on a whole shark obsession which is really cute and like different so i found this one gilbert the shark i am so excited i think it's just so cute he's friends with the fish so yeah i got this one for her and then i literally hit the jackpot with this it was called surprising sharks and on the side it says read and wonder look how cute and so basically it kind of just goes through like the types of sharks well that one did right and then like it's just so cute it kind of has like little facts about them i think like shapes and sizes i just thought it was really neat especially since she's really big into sharks i feel like we can spend a good time on this so yeah i got this one for her I was super excited when i saw this book it tugged at my heart and i'm like oh my husband's gonna cry so i got this one and says if i could keep you little like it's so to keep you little speaks straight to the heart exploring the powerful emotion that every parent has and illuminating the tender balance between letting your child grow up and savoring the beauty of right now as you can see i this book i know is gonna like 
I think I'm also getting emotional because that's the math. But it's just um, so true when people say kids grow so fast. Like time is a thief. Like your kids will just grow up like this. And um, Savannah is growing up so quick. If you guys have been following us since we've had her, um, I don't know if I did many vlogs after like having her, but she's so big now. And I know there's people that have followed me on YouTube and I think one of them is Gabby on here. And like, I think I posted one of the videos and she was like, oh my gosh, like Savannah's so big now. And I'm like, I know, like she's growing up so fast. And it's so hard because I you know one day she just sprout up and she's gonna start her own family one day she's gonna maybe go off to college like all these things and once you become a parent I get it like I get you and I cry because I sound like <laughs> like I'm dying get why it was so hard for my parents letting me go when I left home and like you know I went to live with Jose we got married you know we moved so I feel like this book is just gonna mean a lot and I know it's just gonna be like a bittersweet moment to read with her so yeah it's definitely um a book that I was so excited to find at the thrift and pick up because it's just it is we just wish our kids would stay little and one day they're gonna grow up and like my dad has always told us a phrase in Spanish that says los hijos son prestados um the that your children are just loaned to you practically um not in a bad way just in a way that you're given this time with your kids to watch them grow up but then they go on and they start their own lives and so he's like you know as much as your kids are yours it comes to a time that you know they're off and they do their own thing and that that always strikes a chord for me because i'm very attached to my parents never forget when I left. The hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. It's never easy. Whenever I visit, I always cry when I leave. I feel like every time I see my parents, it's usually like within a couple of months. Um, sometimes it could be a year. Like, you know, just life happens just hard. You see them, it's like they've aged. And that's something my friend told me recently when her parents visited. Um, we were so We were all hanging out this week weekend I should say and she's like oh she's like it's so sad every time you see your parents it's like they've aged and yeah it's true, it's true. like whenever you do have that time with them they've changed the same way you've changed I'm sorry this became such a like sobby emotional part of the vlog it's true and then that's why sometimes I don't want to have any more kids because it's hard it is so hard I like people that have like five kids and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> my heart could not handle that because I would be so stressed the fuck out <laughs> yeah I'm really excited to read this book and I feel like it's gonna be a book that I'll pass down to her so she can pass down to her kids one day but I will probably write a note for her in here and then I'll pass it along so that my grandkids could see it one day enough with the crying whatever so lastly i ended up finding this little cute set um i thought it would be really neat it was 450 it was definitely on a pricier end but i just liked it i thought it was fine motor skills and be good too and i figured it'd be a cute little game for her and my nephew this weekend all right now let's jump into marshall's i was really excited to go into first i found this wet brush and so this is a pure and clean detangling brush it's infused with an antimicrobial shield and i like this because you can remove the brush cushion to make it easier to clean it i feel like the wet brush i have right now or the brush i have right now it's dirty like i was like ugh, i need to clean it but this one will be cute so you gotta pick this one up i just want to take her out okay she's given just like you can take this off to clean it says just cool i'm just trying to figure out what's gonna be in there the dirt i already know i love my like um glass glasses but they have like things embedded on them so i have like the mushroom one i have some two different ones from anthropology and then i've gotten the other ones from like um tj maxx or marshall's i'm sorry i keep like touching because i'm like tears i was able to buy these i wanted these so bad so these are the daisy ones look how cute those are oh my gosh these are from cynthia rowley and i'm i'm obsessed i have a whole collection of these 
and these are so cute so i picked these up. lastly i picked this piece up but i'm not sure so i definitely want to go a whole different route with our kitchen when we move next but i've always been intrigued by mackenzie childs i love her stuff i think it's just so gorgina um and my dream is to have one of those kettles and i've been on the market to find one because i just do i need it no aesthetically pleasing yes and i just i just picture myself like making my water in there i don't know it's just so cute and i just love her whole checkered look so i found this and i about gasped i was like uh, we need her we need her now so i picked her up this was handmade in india of course artists and they have two sizes they have this one which is almost like a medium size and one that was a little bit bigger that one was 20 this one was 15 and then they had it in a blue like a navy blue this is the black and white one it's uh but i had to pick her up i was like i need her i was like let me take her worst case scenario if i don't find her fitting in my life i can return her so yeah i picked her up but she was so cute i could not pass up on that it's gorgeous these are my purchases my damage of the day because you know, yeah. let's go i'm gonna put these things away and i'm gonna i'm gonna fix this makeup because i am looking scurry actually i lied i'm lying to you guys why am i lying to you guys let me show you what i've gotten in pr pr let me show you what i've been gifted function of beauty so this is the function of beauty styling um hold together spray so i'm excited because i have no hairspray and i needed something good give me this which is a function of beauty volumizing hair gold booster shots i need to see how these work but this stuff intrigues me like look at that que es esto que es esto <laughs> super cool you know that's what gets people you give them little booster shots let's give us a booster shot let me put this light on so yeah this is exciting it's a customi customizable hairspray this is so cool everything about it i might need to look into function of beauty because this is cute next i'm so thrilled because i've been on the search for good shampoo and conditioner um i never forget one time i got one from tj maxx and y'all it was the worst <laughs> so horrible like i never forget jose and i were like throw that shit out like we don't want them but i recently tried out some of moroccan oils like hair care products and i loved them they sent me the first control conditioner and shampoo and i was like yeah so these are a great size I figured once i finished using the ones in my shower i can add these or i can just try them out see how it goes a little disclaimer guys when you see me acting like a fool that's who i am 24 7. you can ask my husband i'm I'm witty, I'm funny, I love to just have fun. I'm gonna come on here and be like, this is me. These are my products. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my reactions. Show you how goofy I am and silly because that's what I love to be. And that's who I am genuinely. And yeah, I get these itches. Okay, let's go. Cause I'm being a fool on camera for you guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> we're gonna make chili tonight um actually jose will make it but i say we because i just help and assist as a sous chef and yeah guys we'll come back later i'm gonna go and do something so savannah woke up i woke her up with um gilbert the shark book and actually it was the cutest book ever oh, nice she woke up happy with that she just asked to open these yeah. um okay. yeah. let's go and play with these you ready Play. All right, let's go to your playroom. Go to your playroom. Come on. For her, she's click clacking. Go, my clicker. Go, go, go. Go, come on. Go. Let's go. Oh, you're ditching them. Ditching the heels. Go. Go, go, go. Go to the playroom. Playroom, please. No. Playroom. Let's go to the playroom. Come on. Go, 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 go. Daddy, give daddy a hug. Go give daddy a hug. Come give daddy a hug. <laughs> missed you. I missed you. <laughs> oh. Show daddy your shark books. Go show daddy your shark books. 
What do you want? Say, Mommy bought you shark books. Shark books? Yeah, that's your super way. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. It is 2.29. I put Savannah down around like 1 something. I'm gonna go and lay down and watch Love is Blind. The rest of like the episodes come out today. I don't know, I'm just kind of tired. I do have some things to wash here, but I'll do them later. I put away the groceries. I should have recorded a haul for you guys, but I did do that on my TikTok channel. So if anything, I'll leave the link down below so you guys can see what I picked up today. You can also go check out um, what I saw on you in stores, which was phenomenal. I don't know if this will be up during this week that the things are out. So I'm sorry if that's not the case. I do want to edit tonight. I know I've been saying that for the past two days, but I've just been so out of it. I've been tired. Savannah was sick. Um, so these two nights we had slept with her in our bedroom. So obviously I'm not gonna have my laptop open with her there. So I have to put my baby first. And I know you guys will understand that. The sister and my brother-in-law and my nephew come this weekend. So I'm excited for that. Stay tuned. Um, tonight we're picking up food from a home cook here on base. Her food is phenomenal. Oh, I'm so excited. She made a green chicken curry with like lumpia. Oh my god, I can't wait. So I'll definitely show you guys that. She's the one that makes the wings that I've shown you probably like four times on this vlog. I'm gonna go and relax, enjoy this peaceful quietness, and I'll get back to you guys. So no, they didn't have. Okay. You didn't what? <laughs> So Jose picked up the curry, and it tastes good, and it looks good, and I can't wait to eat everything. <laughs> hey besties. All right, so I haven't picked up this camera in a long time. That's my fault. So I just went to Trader Joe's earlier because I was trying to find some stuff, and then I'm going to warm up Savannah's lunch right now so she can eat, and then I'm going to put her down for her nap. But I have been in such a funk lately, and I hate it. And I feel like a lot of the times when I come on here, I tell you guys I'm always in a funk, which kind of sucks but kind of just shows you guys that um people go through shit right like let's be honest i had family over this weekend so that was super fun but of course when they leave it's just kind of like always sad it's not kind of it is always sad and then um for pasta and then i lately have been kind of like in a funk about my tiktok channel if you guys don't follow me there but you can definitely go check it out pasta? yeah i feel like i don't know i feel like i've been putting out content for like a couple of years now what it's two years now i feel like my channel or my oh baby be careful social media isn't growing i'm kind of thinking like maybe i should just start a new page sometimes people say that you should just start a new page and i'm just kind of like do i want to start a new page like i already have a certain number of people following me already i know it sounds crazy because it's kind of like the way i'm sounding it's like i don't have enough followers like but i feel like i'm putting out content and content after content content that i would enjoy personally and that's what they always say like ask yourself would you enjoy watching this and i do like i enjoy watching my content and i think it's like it's up to date current content but then again it's like i don't see myself grow maybe I get a follower to it and I look back and it's like I have had viral videos so when I think about it like like what's going on and then you can see your profile views and you see people are viewing your profile like 100 plus people are viewing your profile and you're just kind of wondering why aren't people following it does kind of like get to you because you're kind of like oh like am I not good enough to follow I tell myself it's not it doesn't matter like the, the followers don't matter you start feeling like like why aren't people like following it but i just hate it because i'm getting into my head about like why people are not following me on my tiktok why is like my content not being pushed out enough like what is it that people don't like and i hate that i hate that i'm doing that because i hate that i'm so focused on my number count of followers. just the honest truth. i love when people come i rarely get comments on things and i just kind of like hate that too because i'm just like come on like let's talk conversate i know there's a lot of other moms that can relate to my content or people that are not moms because i do do a lot of vlogs and stuff like that and like shopping vlogs and things but i, don't, I feel like i will decide once i move which will be moving um in a few months i do want to create content of my move so i have that um recorded for savannah in the future because i've recorded our past move it's the most annoying song um so i just want to have that for her i don't know what to do but i think after my move depending where we stand i might probably take a break from content creating and just not do it anymore 
personally. Um, I've had great opportunities, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm so thankful for them. I wanted to make content creating a job for myself. I wanted to be able to, you know, provide somewhat of an income for our household. I know, like, it's not going anywhere. And it's sucky, and I don't know. I don't know if I worded everything right. I don't know if I said anything wrong. It's the truth and reality of things. People do look at numbers, and yeah. So, <laughs> let's feed my kid, because She's out here, probably tired. So let's feed her and get her down for a nap. And then I'm gonna get some videos up for you guys. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> Always have a summer Fridays lying around somewhere. I just got my ass off the couch because I was uploading um, some TikToks that I had already like made and I just kind of wanted to put them up. I actually just put up the get ready with me, get to know me. I was actually really <laughs> nervous editing that. I don't know why, but I guess just kind of like opening up and just telling you guys a little bit about myself. That's nerve wracking. Let's see how that goes. But nonetheless, we went to Target today. I had to go for one thing and we came back with this. <laughs> I know it's in a Trader Joe's bag. We went to Target first. Pretzels because my daughter was literally eating pretzels and then she ran out and she's like pretzels 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 So luckily these were two for six I'm gonna fill up the container we have for Snyder's pretzels um, Just because I was not gonna go to the commissary just for pretzels to be honest I had been wanting these I had seen these on a TikTok and I had to get them these were from the dollar section these are their no novelty we figurals these were three dollars but i just figured these on the wall would look fabulous like how cute are these they're just really adorable like i could not pass up on these so i picked these up it's a nail and like a baby chick as well but i feel like those were more like add-on pieces to like a shelving unit this i feel like i could figure a way to hang them up and I'll be super happy. Next, I found some other stuff from the Bullseye Playground section. This was just tempting. I don't, I don't know if this will work, but these were natural wax reusable food wraps. They come with a medium and a small. Look how cute that pattern is. This is giving me all retro theme. Like, how adorable. And then it had like little bumblebee version one or like the honeycomb. So. I picked these two up, $3 each. I was like on the fence for these. I was like, should I, should I not? But I was like, let's give it a try. There's directions on the back and stuff. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. A tray girl. They had two types of trays, but I really liked this one. I feel like it was such a good size. So this is the wo woven bin, $5. Super cute. I'm like, I figured we could use it for something. Next, I had to get this. It was adorable. It was giving me lush vibes, but probably at a, an affordable price or somewhat affordable. These are from Holler and Gold. Holler and Gold, I was gonna say. Holler and Glow. This is the Watch the Water, Transform in the Tub, Pink Lemonade Scented Chick Shape Bath Bomb. Check it out. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. My daughter loves stuff like this, and I don't know, I wanna see how it works, honestly. But this whole background was giving me lush, absolute lush. They do have another chick, I think they have an Easter egg as well. I just did a TikTok for Target Easter basket stuffers that I saw today. There were some phenomenal things, and I did post those, so if you wanna check out what I got like that. Next, my husband needed a shampoo. So my husband has been using Hair Biology at Target, and it's for like silver gray hair. Um, apparently they're going out like they're clearancing them out and taking them out so i was trying to find something for him and it was like only um available for shipping and i was like no we need it now because he's run out already i had happened to buy him a hair biology conditioner a long time ago before we left which i think was before texas or like during texas but i found this purple shampoo it's for neutral neutralizing brassy tones and blonde silver and gray hair so i don't know I know someone I follow, I think Alexandra Rodriguez on here. I think she mentions that she uses this brand and she likes it. So this is sulfate free and 100% natural fragrance. So yeah, I figured let's give this a try for my husband. I just got him the shampoo because I do, like I mentioned, I did have a conditioner left over from hair biology. So he's got to use that bad boy up. To stumble at the clearance section, but to be honest, the clearance sections are always so when it comes down to the clothing section but i saw this and i just like snatched it up this was clearance to three dollars i always love a basic white tee you can never go wrong and i like that this one was more like of a deep v-neck 
when you have a want to be sexy <laughs> i picked that one up they did have some other like amazing items but i was be wise with my time because my little was behaving she wasn't bad so i just didn't want to take advantage and lastly i love me a good sweet tea oh my gosh i actually went out with my girlfriends the other night and when they said they didn't like sweet tea my heart broke it broke into a million pieces i'm not gonna lie my heart broke i was like <sighs> I am a sweet tea girl. That's one thing. Texas got me for their sweet tea. I love sweet tea. So wherever I go, if there's sweet tea, you best believe I'm gonna have sweet tea. So I picked up Pure Leaf because I do love Pure Leaf. I think their sweet tea and all tea jazzes are amazing. These were on sale and this is their sub sub how do you say that? Subtle? Subtle? Subtle sweet peach. This one. If you are near a cracker barrel, go try their peach sweet tea when i was pregnant i would get the big boy and i loved it because the lady would literally fill them up and she would literally just keep a nice carafe next to me i think that's how you say it carafe like a little carafe carafe next to me she would just fill me up yeah i chugged i chug sweet teas i'm a chugger i chug any beverage ask my husband he hates it but i don't think i've tried this and I like the pear leaf and I was just gonna get the sweet tea one so I ended up picking the sweet peach so I might have to put one in the fridge or freezer for now this one says lower sugar 85% less sugar than our sweet tea I hope I still like it because I like the sweet tea and clearly it has a lot of sugar this is my little um, Tarjay haul and dinner's already made because we got um, rotisserie chicken from Costco yesterday so we're probably just gonna throw up some throw some things together and figure that out but since i'm heading it this way i'm gonna show you guys the other thing that i got i have picked up this cute buddy mold because of someone i follow on instagram and tiktok i believe but it's like a bunny light and it's so cute she put it in her daughter's bedroom and you can set the timer for it as well and it looked gorgeous so i'm gonna put this in savannah's bedroom i just have to shoot my tiktok for it but it's adorable i think it's so cute and for 15 bucks i feel like it's a really good price i don't know you tell me but i thought i thought she was gorgina and i had to have her if anything i will tag the tiktok below from the lady i saw from oh my gosh so cute i love her whole vibe so she sold me on this one i purchased these couple of days ago these were the cherry slush alani new energy drinks um i'm gonna have one of these i hope this is not gonna keep me up i am on zero so cheers It's like good, but I don't know. It's giving me like a cherry Coke, to be honest. For sugar, but that first hit, it's sugary. I'm not gonna look. It's not bad, but I don't think I'd buy this flavor again because it's packing a lot of punch of sugar when you drink it. You love a lot of Yolani products, so I did buy another flavor. So we'll try that one probably during the week. But I'll get back to you guys later. Maybe after my workout, during my workout, we'll see. We'll see how this boat floats today because I'm just kind of like everywhere, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put some stuff to wash because I do have some laundry per usual. And yeah, I think that's it. Hi guys, welcome back. So it is Thursday. I feel like the week has flown by, which I'm not mad about. We did go out today. It was sunny, finally. Um, we went to the shops, walked around and whatnot. And of course, I found some amazing. It's an addiction, I've told you. I'll show you guys because I just did like the TikToks for it and I just wanna put this stuff away. Okay, so I have a batch here. So the first thing is this real simple faucet splash guard and drying mat. So I almost purchased something like this on Amazon. Let's see, you don't wanna see my face. So you basically put it on this. I don't know if it's gonna work on mine, but it even has like a folding feature, which is cool. Ooh, you saw that? Okay, I've been wanting one of these. So I figured, let's try it out. It was $5. It was simple, but I feel like it's something I would enjoy in my house, especially because I hate when water gets there. Mm. Like Jose knows, I'm like a stickler for that. Pick this up. I was so excited for this because I think I, I had seen someone post 
that they found this and I forgot and then when I saw it I was like oh my god I was like I want this so it's like perfect for Easter to add to her Easter basket it's from cars she recently loved watching cars with Jose and it has like the little Easter ears let's see if you'll see how cute for three dollars i was like i'm gonna take it they had some other ones too they had the red one and then they had i think one of these i don't know i might go back for the red one because it's like legit the iconic one i think it's mcqueen nonetheless i got her at least one so i know he's gonna really like this perfect savannah is not having like sandwiches per se right now but i do like the encrustables but i would love to make them at home and i've seen that people buy this like on amazon but i found it there so it was the joy um joy i think it's called the coop sandwich maker so this is what it looks like it's so cute and it has the cutter it has a cutter and sealer you'll see right here and you basically just make your own uncrustables or whatever kind of snack treat you want to make so i figured why not this was literally the readables of course i had to add this into my basket because i was like why not so now that i gathered the rest of the stuff so about a week ago jose and i went to um tj maxx late at night because i told him that they had a they had the brand of socks that he likes which is golto and so i was like you need to read up on socks so we went and we got them and then we found this one but with the handle um in the checkout aisle but it was missing the top thing this um and we looked up you can buy it for 10 bucks but then we asked them like what would you like discount it since it was gone and they basically discounted it only like five dollars and we're like we're basically gonna pay more Long story short, we were like, no, I was like, just pass on it. And then today in Home Goods, I found this version, which is the on the go um, tumbler. And Jose actually bought me the cooler from Yeti that's this color. When we first saw that cooler at the PX, I was like, oh my God, green is my color. I love the color. Yeah, so now we have the Yeti. Now we have the tumbler. This is, this is obviously for him, but of course I'll use it whenever he's not using it. But I thought it was super cute. And for 20 bucks, he was like, yeah, take it. In hands, I didn't need any more um dish towels per se but i really really liked these um it's throwing off almost like gray but it's honestly this really nice sage green okay there you go super cute it's 100 percent cotton um super absorbent and soft i just love these they were just so nice i could not pass up on them i took them in my cart they were a little bit pricier they're eight dollars um i don't know what's a good price for dish towels i don't know you guys tell me but yeah, I thought it was really nice and I liked the color and I just thought it was a really nice spring pattern. I didn't want to do bunnies because I was like, mm, that's seasonal. So I've strayed away from seasonal like decor in that aspect or like towel wise. I used to be all for it and now I, I'm not, I don't do it anymore. And if I do do it, it's stuff, it's stuff I've already owned. So yeah, so pick these up. Did she need another toy? Absolutely not. I went back and forth with these. But we are doing numbers with her and stuff like that. And I love that these were jumbo cards. I have the little cards and I feel like that's just a hot mess. I feel like this will be so much easier. Plus it says, it, plus it has polka dot. So you basically poke the dots. Almost like that fidget poking thing. So yeah, I absolutely love Melissa Duck products. For 10 bucks, I was, for 9 bucks, I was like, why not? It comes in like a little carrying case. I figured this would be really fun for us now, especially when we head out on the road too. So yeah, I picked these up. It's 13 double-sided cards. It's the Jumbo Number Learning Cards. How freaking cute, guys. I, I had to pick them up. A little closer look for you guys. Someone had already popped that one, but so cute. Lastly, oh my gosh. The way I yelped when I saw this, I was like, I was like, yeah, I got to take it for her. I'm like, it's so freaking cute. So this was home goods as well. Um, they had two versions of this. I do have a TikTok up about it, I believe, or not yet. But I did record a vid. I did record a video. These are from Queen West Trading Co. And I just, I can't. Let's check out their kids section. They do have certain little things here and there you'll see in the store, but there's no legit like kids section, which I really wish they would bring it back because they literally took that out right as I was having Savannah. So I really didn't get to enjoy that section and i'm sure so many other mommies and parents will love that section too it's just a cute section to browse like little knickknacks they brought but when i saw this i was like yeah i'm taking her it's just so darling i love anything rattan so i had to pick it up it was 13 dollars a little splurge but i think it's so freaking cute like it's 
It's honestly adorable. This is the other one I picked up today. It's called Chilitos Chamoy Watermelon Bites. These were so good. So I picked up these poppy handcrafted popcorn from TJ Maxx and oh my lord, they were really good. That, that was the salted caramel, so delicious. That was my haul, I had to show you guys. I'm gonna put stuff away and then charge my phone because that's dying too. <laughs> I might pick this up later on this evening, I'm not sure. But yeah, nights have been a blur in this house. So I'll keep you guys posted if anything exciting happens. Bye. We haven't added Jose's cooking in the vlogs in a very long time. So today the chef of the house made us pasta. Bolognese. Bolognese. You gotta say it like that, babe. Say it. Pasta. Pasta. Say hi. Hi. Well, what do you got there, a book? You gotta take out your thumb, mama. You gotta take this out. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go eat and then relax for the rest of the night. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.